Okay, let's get our swim on. So there's a very interesting boss in this area that is going to torment us. And you can't do anything really about it. But later on in the game, you can come back and, and destroy it. Which I always thought is a, is a really fun idea. Notice on the map as well, you see how there's all those things it looks like we can do stuff with? Absolutely no point whatsoever. Like, the linearity on this game is astounding. And for everybody who got lost when you played the older Final Fantasies, you probably liked it. But for the people who enjoyed getting lost, this game definitely holds your hand more. But let's save. Oh, wow. Maybe I could have touched the other one, but I was waiting for it to, to bring up a prompt on the screen. And of course, it doesn't do that in this game. That is pretty awesome. The gaming conventions that we take for granted now, there was a time when they weren't a thing. But you forget. That's awesome. So this is a chest. Anything good? High portion. I do like the sound of opening chests. Hey, we can finally hit the menu. Hmm. Spiral cut. I've only got stoic mode. But I'm on my own, so it's probably the best way. I have no abilities, and I do not have the sphere grid yet. Okay. 300 gil? Let's do this. I picked expert grid at the beginning, because it's the only one I've ever used. I think it's just a little different to the beginner one. No real strategy involved. I just like to go towards haste dagger as early as I can, because speed is everything to this game. Like, if I could get quick cut early... I might try and work towards that, but it's been a while since I've looked at the sphere board, or the sphere grid, so I'm going to have to search it out and see what I can get. A lot of people were curious what I was going to do with this game, because if you remember when I played Final Fantasy VIII, I did a no level run. A lot of people wanted to know if I was going to do a no sphere grid on this, but I'm not. Last time I checked when it came to that run, you could only get as far as Unaleska and then the game wasn't physically possible at that point. That might have changed since I haven't really been keeping up, but I just want this to be a playthrough. Oh, battle music! Hang on a second. This sounds different! This is different! See, this part sounds like what I remember. I don't remember that little fanfare at the beginning. I'm gonna have to look into if the music on this game has changed at all, because that really did sound different. Here it comes. Nasty looking thing. Look at the enemy design on this game, it's stellar. Really, really good. They've always been good at that though, Square. This music sounds different. Oh, I might fall out with this game if the music's different. Oh! Okay. You hurt. Am I meant to just... I don't want to burn potions if I'm meant to die here, but... I don't think I am meant to die. Look at that. Right hook. Uh, I don't want to die. Let's not die. Maybe that's why Orin gave us eight potions, so we could stay alive during this. Now this music, at this point, sounds similar. I think we just have to survive that. Not that it matters. You're only losing a few potions. I've always wondered we a creature such as that. Isn't it not a good idea to get as close to it as you can? And get like on its back maybe? Or get to a point where its, its jaws physically can't get to you? And all you'd have to do is embed your sword and like cling on that way. 
Because it's not like it can use its arms to rip you off because it's a fish thing. out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. So this this music here should be kind of like a slow rhythmic bell. There it was. different though. Cold. But another interesting sequence coming up here where we have to collect ingredients to make a fire. fire. <sighs> and then we're gonna meet up with the Albed. There's Flint. like something we can... no? Can't use them as tinder. I miss this, guys. I really do. I miss the feeling that the old Final Fantasies gave me when I played them. And I, I miss, like, not knowing what I'm doing. I missed that experience, and I haven't had it for the longest of times, and I don't think I'll probably ever have it again. And I know that's not a very optimistic attitude to have, but gaming's changing so drastically, and it's changing into directions that necessarily aren't the way I would like it to go. Which is not a bad thing, because who the fuck am I in the grand scheme of anything, you know? I'm just one guy with an opinion. You like what you like, you can't really help it, it's just the way it is, and you let other people like what they like, but... There's something really special about a good JRPG, and nowadays we're getting really great RPGs, you know, Western RPGs, because we've kind of taken over the mantle as the the good RPG makers, whereas the, the Western philosophies are changing towards, uh, sorry, not Western, the Eastern philosophies are trying to change towards Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed bullshit. Uh, is that where we came from? It is. Another really good useful tip of this this map. It's one of the things I like most about it. So, do we just need flint and that? I thought you needed three things. But it would seem that I was perhaps wrong. Oh, it's that weird creature thing. Must be a pretty terrifying world to live in when you... Essentially, it's, imagine if we had bears and jaguars and things in cities all the time and there's nothing we could really do about them. That's kind of what living in a Final Fantasy world is like. Random monsters just turn up a lot. I need food. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. <laughs> you tell him you came to say that. It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. God, that infinite regress of sin.
I never understood what elbow part is. <laughs> It's like some kind of crazy ribbon lattice thing. Just hold on. I'll get more wood. That's pretty scary. That dude's legs are in fact blades. And I'm not talking talons, I'm talking actual it looks like steel, it looks like some kind of alloy. Wow. It's a pretty scary world. Look, it's like triple laced as well. You little masochist. So he hurts. We've established that. Ooh, nice. Well done, Titus, as that guy used to call you on that goddamn documentary. Like, you see, I love playing Titus. He's like so Titus. Like, ugh. Next one will be. Oh, good lad. Wish there was more control over the misses and things than dice rolls, but it's an RPG, what can you do? If Dragon Age Inquisition had combat of Dark Souls or combat of any game that's got good combat, it'd be one of the best games ever made ever. But it doesn't. It has dice roll combat. But I think that's the price you pay for everything else to be so good. Because that is a fantastic game. Ex Machina. There she is. Rocking a crazy belt wedgie. What's that about? As much as men like to, to think that girls enjoy that. From my experience with women, they don't. It's just that male misconception. So we can use grenades with Riku. And it wants me to do it right now. I used to hate Riku, but she's actually one of the best characters in the game because of her abilities to, to mix. And I only learned how good she was when I started using her against Penance. Because that is a boss that is turf. How? Got no more. What can we steal off of you? Oh, grenades. Awesome. Should do that because it seems to be fixated on me. Look at that. I love it when you use an item and it gives you an extra turn if you're faster than the enemy. Can't remember if I'm meant to be stealing grenades here and saving them for the next fight, but it's probably a better strategy than what I'm doing. So that's what we'll do. We'll have her steal to try and get some grenades. And then we'll have Titus attack. Look how fast she is too, she's really quick, Riku. Oh, does that mean he's not got anything? That would suck. Oh, he's dead. He's definitely not got on now. I remember that. AP. Ability spheres for the sphere grid. again with the crazy studded thong belt. Oh the textures have not been kind to your face. <laughs> that was close. Hey, let me Clarence go. Oh. Redick track! So this is pretty awesome, this. The Speaking I'll Bed, which we don't know. But you can get these books that teach you what the characters mean. And if you get all of them, you can understand what they're saying. Which I think is an amazing thing. But it's something that people will probably never come across, because they'll probably never play this game twice. But it's just a really good detail. So just cut my balls. <laughs> I don't know what she smelled like, but then again I don't know what the bathing rituals are like in this crazy future fantasy land. For all we know she could take off that one piece scuba suit and be one big lump of hair. Ugh. Smell like vinegar. Ugh. That is an interesting looking ship. 
You see what I mean when I said it was kind of slow after the first part? It's going to continue to be slow because we're now effectively a slave on this ship doing menial tasks. Kid, it's thy job. Hey, that hurts. Usujek, Rain. Whoa. Okay. Looks a little bit like the oh, his brother. He's really good at blitzball, brother. What? Sorry, I don't speak in your language. Asshole. Right, whatever. Do we hold kebeg? I don't have any kebegs. No, thank you. I don't listen to hip hop. I said I don't understand. Fed. He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. Boom, son. You, you understand me? All right, I'll work. She got those crazy fin, like wrist mounts. I love it. Right, what can I steal from my captives? Or captors, sorry. Oh, almost forgot. It's your grid. Oh, that tutorial music. This is the Sphere Grid. Select Sphere Grid from the main menu. Yeah, I, uh, I've done this before. A few times. Just a few. Yep. Magical stuff, this. Mm hmm. Yep. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, I know. Magic, isn't it? Isn't it magic that we can move all those spaces? Like, it's funny that it gives you this, because surely if you pick expert, you sh you're saying I understand how this stuff works. Can I, uh... No. It's like Mariah Carey covering Final Fantasy. Those lock spheres. I wish they didn't exist. They can call it balance all they want, I call it bullshit. Let me get stronger. I demand more power. Look at that beast. Yep, thanks. Means a lot. I fed the rin Virk. Yes! I want to be inly raped by all of your seven friends. Ah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Couple of potions. Make up for the ones we lost. That's one of the textbooks. Albed Primer, Volume 1. Wiser A. Awesome. So now when we talk to him, who wants to gang rape me. There you go. We, we now have almost no context. <laughs> But a little more context than we had before. So we're going to save and we're going to carry on.